Hello guys, we D here. Welcome back to more Ghost Hunter. We're gonna keep going. Alright, so where we last left off, we actually met some really strange characters and we got imprisoned. So now we have to find a way out of here. And of course, we are gonna need the help of Astral. Because as you guys can see, we don't have our weapons with us. So the only our only hope is to use Astral's help. So we're gonna go do that. Gonna summon her. Now, uh, this is not really a puzzle, it's just, you know, something that you gotta do. Now, first time I play this, uh, obviously you can't get lost here, but you can get quite confused. Um, but yeah, this is basically what you gotta do, you gotta go underwater. And, um, you know, try to uh, find a way out of here. And here it is, if you guys uh, actually recognize this, we actually went through here with Lazarus, but we got caught. Okay, this should be... Yep, over here. There's a ladder over here, we gotta go up here. And we should have a cutscene. city lawman, are you? <laughs> well, seems like we all been let a real merry hold down by that witch. I did wonder about Slicker Second Sight. Just didn't wonder for long enough, huh, Tinkerbell? Junior, you better not be a goner. Bring him here. Oh, Pa, I feel tired I couldn't even prove. Just bring him. <laughs> well, boy, seems like we had you all wrong. I don't know how you got into this, and I don't know how you got us back into this, but if you're here with the Professor's Girl, you must be fighting with the good guys. Professor's Girl? Wait a minute, you've met the Professor? Proud to say I have. Mighty fine fella. Saved us from that witch and her son. Showed us how we could see what we's up against. <laughs> of course, he did most of the tussling himself. With the help of Tinkerbell here, of course. The Professor's little marvel. Yeah, she's one of those rare helpful ghosts. She ain't no ghost, boy. Her body's somewhere. And though it ain't rightly alive, it sure as hell ain't dead. No, sir. Now, the professor said he's looking for a way to fix her up somehow. Ain't that right, too? Anyway, no time for jabbering, Slicker. You need to step into the professor's shoes and help us out. You just tried to murder me. Sound a good friendship around these parts. Listen, boy. That Demon Ford woman, she's got our little girl prisoner up there. We sure as hell want her back. And what I need is to find the professor. So where is he? Well, that's just it. He headed back to Demon Ford's, and after that, we never saw him again. Now, mind you, that witch and her son have been nice and quiet ever since. Until a few days ago. <laughs> that's right, Tinkerbell. At least you know when it's time for action. Now then, boys, you can ride along shotgun. Give this here fella, uh... Sorry, Slicker. Looks like you're on your own. Can't give you much advice, neither. But I can give you these. Along to the professor. Might be some help. Now, you get yourself up to that darn house and rescue our little girl. We're counting on you. Alright. So, we're about to play one of my favorite levels of all time. Which is going to be the Montfort mansion this is gonna be great if you thought that this mansion was creepy before then just wait um now i'm gonna equip my uh, pulse rifle i believe that we can't go back i think that that door over there is closed it is indeed okay let me just check around the house see if i can find anything like some ammo or something you never know no, apparently not. Apparently there's nothing over here.
Look about this side. No? Okay. Nothing. We can't go that way either, so. Right, let's go into the mansion then. One of my favorite uh, parts of this game. Without a doubt. Alright. So like I said, if you thought that this mansion was creepy before, then just wait. This is gonna fuck with your mind. Trust me. There is some ammo over here. Nice. I didn't remember this. But uh, I guess it's a good thing that I came back to this room first. We can already hear a ghost nearby. Um, is there anything up here? Anything at all? No. Okay. I know that the doors up there don't open, so don't even bother. We have a checkpoint. Of course, I'm going to be saving. Here we go. Okay, as you guys remember, before, when we got to this mansion, we could not go through that door. So now, obviously, there's going to be a lot more that we can explore in this mansion. And that is a creepy little girl. Let's follow her, because that's a smart thing to do, right? Of course it is. Oh boy. That opening in his crotch and everything, and yes, he is gonna hit you with the little girl. He's using the little girl as a weapon. One. Alright. Not sure that one. Uh, I believe there's nothing more uh, of interest in this kitchen, so we're gonna go. This door doesn't open. So we're gonna go upstairs. Oh yeah, this is another messed up room. So you guys can see. Right. So she's gonna go through that uh, green kind of disgusting look looking thing so all we have to do now is go through here okay, she's gonna run away so all you have to do now is go through this door you have to be fast about this and it brings you to this place. Teddy. Teddy. Bad man. Come on, Teddy. I'm ready for you. Come on. Will you die? There you go. So uh, now you have to go back through here, I think. So it's basically, you know, a little puzzle while you're trying to kill those little girls. Well, not kill them, because they're already dead, but you know what I mean. I don't know if there's anything important in this room, I don't think so. Yeah, there's nothing. It's nothing but a creepy... Uh, How, what do you call these? Um, I forgot. I, I guess I'm gonna call it a music box, even though it's not really a music box, but... Oh boy. Alright. Oh, this part. We have another little girl over there that we need to capture. But I think it's this part where we have some weird ghosts over here. Yes, it is. So I would recommend you to be extremely cautious with these little things. 
do not approach them because they can kill you in just a few hits so I would recommend you to get rid of them while you know putting some distance between you and them there you go I think there's only one in this area I don't think there's any more some ammo okay we're gonna go here because I, I believe there's some uh, there's also some ammo over here and health is there any ammo? it is there we go we don't need the health because uh, we have full health at this point but if you ever need it you know where to get it okay we're gonna go through here because we need to capture that little girl She is. Let me see Teddy, come on. Let me see Teddy. There we go. So those little girls, uh, I believe I never explained this before, but those little girls are called the Daughters of Oakville. Oakville is this is what this place, this ghost town is called. Um, and basically they, they symbolize, they represent uh, all the kids, um, you know, that were killed by a certain someone that I'm not going to spoil for you guys. But um, yeah, that's, that's what the little girls represent basically all they, they symbolize all the children that died that were killed by a certain someone in this game all right we have another checkpoint here i believe i'm gonna save all right moving on now we have this painting Find over here piece. exactly and you, you you notice that there's two pieces of this uh picture missing so we have to find them now you can choose to do either one first, as you can see, but I'm gonna go with this side first. But you can do either one. You do you do have to get both pieces though, so it really doesn't matter. Yes, there's a little girl over here as well. Another daughter of Oakville. There she is. We need to scare the crap out of her. And she's gonna run. And all you have to do is go through this door. And you capture her. As you can see, she's pretty tired, so... The trick is to get her while she's tired. That's your cue to actually capture her. Come on. There we go. One of the things, one of the complaints that I have about this game is the fact that you can't reload like you can't manually reload and I would like to actually have an option to do that now let's go through the store again here we go now this over here in this room is something that can mess you up for life we have one of the pieces of the, the, the picture but now Okay guys, I'm back. I apologize. Um, I actually had a call, so I had to pick up the phone. Uh, but yeah, this is one of the those things that are going to mess you up. It did the first time I played this game, actually. But, um, alright, we have some health over here, but yeah, we don't need it. Um, so we have the first piece of the picture, so I guess we can go back now. And uh, put it back. So this 
this part of the mansion, uh, it's actually pretty easy. It's nothing that complicated at all. So basically the only thing that you have to do is really just go get the, the pieces of the picture and that's it. But then something more messed up is going to happen, but I'm not going to spoil it for you guys. And over here in this cage, I know some people actually mistaken this for apples and stuff like that, but these are baby skulls. So, I, I knew a gamer that actually mixed that up and, and she thought that those things were apples. They're not apples. Alright, now there's going to be one of those tiny ghosts over here. The only thing you gotta do is just keep your distance. Take care of him. He's not gonna attack you if you you have enough distance between you and him. As you guys can see, it kinda looks like Lucius, doesn't it? This game came out first, so... Come on. Now we go. Actually, I believe there's gonna be more of these guys up here. And this is where the second piece of the picture is located. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, do this. Now there's gonna be more of those ghosts that we have to be careful with. There's one over there. Ah, uh, damn it. Now we go. I believe this. Yeah, there's one more over there. One more over here. Damn it. Now we go. And now we're gonna have to fight the little girl, the teddy bear. Which is not complicated at all. You're just gonna have to be careful when they charge at you. Yeah, it's charging at me. And I was too late. Couldn't avoid it. There you go. Thankfully we have some health over here. And here's the second piece of the picture. Now I thought there would be some ammo in this area as well, but uh, I guess not. Alright, so all we gotta do now is go back and put it in place. Now something messed up is going to happen. Check this out. This is pretty cool. I don't know about you, but for a PS2 game, this is pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. But we need to go here. Now this is the same mansion, but this is a more twisted version of the mansion. <clears throat> so things are going to be a lot more shocking, I guess you could say. Okay, again, the doors upstairs don't open, so don't even bother. Let me just see if there's... No, there's no ammo up there. Right, again, I'm going to save. 